Hi Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIU12933 here, and in today's three-minute video boot camp for you CCNA and CCNPT shoot candidates, we're going to do some live troubleshooting here on Frame Relay. I've got a pod of live routers I'm going to bring up in a moment, and we're going to take a look at some real-life show commands and some debug commands for Frame Relay, because there are a lot of details that have to work correctly for Frame Relay to function. And that's why I have this little number one here, because this is going to be the first in a series of videos. And also, this one's going to be a little longer than some of my more recent videos. This might be a little more of a seven-minute boot camp, but it's definitely going to be worth your while. I'll bring that live pod up in just a moment. But one thing I want to mention, especially for you relative newcomers to networking, this is something that I had to learn. And it's something that everyone has to learn really on their own, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, a friend of mine used to say that troubleshooting is two parts. You had to troubleshoot the network and you had to troubleshoot the people around the network. Uh, and troubleshooting the people, the end user, whatever, uh, can be a little more tricky because sometimes really you and I, as network admins, we're really detectives. And I don't care if you're shoot, uh, troubleshooting, you might want to shoot the router, but uh, I'd rather you troubleshooting with the router or a printer. I don't care what it is, half the battle is getting the right information. And questions that I like to ask when I go into troubleshoot, and again, I don't care if it's a router or a printer or anything in between, the first question I always ask is, has this worked before? And I know that may sound silly to you if you haven't done a lot of network troubleshooting yet, but in all seriousness, I was called in to fix something more than once that had never even functioned correctly to begin with. Uh, so always ask, has it, has it worked? And when you get the answer of yes, the next piece of information you need is when did it stop working? That can be the trickiest thing in the world because you don't need it down to the second. You know, you're not writing out a police report and you've got to get, you know, the exact time of the incident. But it does help you to troubleshoot it, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you here on a live pod of routers and switches. And as you can see here, this is typical of something where we would just walk in and you can see there's a frame relay configuration already here. And a couple things here that you would look for first look good. Of course, first encapsulation frame relay. There's no frame relay inverse ARP. You know what that does. And if you don't, look for another video on my YouTube channel that'll tell you. And also our frame relay map commands, they look good. And just as a quick review, we are always going to map the remote IP address to the local DELSI. So that's definitely not the problem. We've got our broadcast option here at the end, so that's not the issue. But we've just been told it doesn't work. So we better take a look around with some show commands and maybe some debugs and find out why it's not working. Also notice that I don't see anything here about an LMI type. So you might assume, probably would assume, it's running at the default of Cisco if you don't see it there. So let's go ahead and run show frame map first. That's a good one to start with. And you can see that we've got status deleted here with a couple of them. Everything else looks okay. IP address, here's the Dell C, etc. Another one I really like to start with is to look at the interface itself. And just a quick bit of troubleshooting here. This is the most important line in all of that output. Everything else to us right now is secondary. Serial zero is up line protocol is down. The first part of that, the serial zero is up part, refers to the physical state of the interface. So we know just by looking at this that it's not a cable issue and the interface is open, otherwise we'd see administratively down, right? We know that there's no physical issue with the interface itself and hasn't shorted out anything like that. Line protocol is down though tells us that there's some kind of logical issue. Something is missing or there's a mismatch. Now with Frame Relay again, this could be a couple of different things and we're going to look at all of them in this video series. But today, let's, um, let's take a look at Show Frame LMI. And we've got 12 different values here, 14 actually, under this one. And the three that we are concerned with really are these two inquiries sent and messages received, and then number of timeouts. Don't worry about these yet. We're going to be covering these in later parts of your studies. You'll learn about those also when you're going after your IE. But first things first, those three values in the real world too are really the ones you're going to be looking at. 
So let's run it again right now and just a few seconds later and see if anything's changed. You see that the inquiry sent has incremented. So we're sending something out, but notice the messages received. So at one point we did get a lot of messages, but then all of a sudden apparently we started getting timeouts because notice those have incremented. And anytime timeouts are incrementing, that's never particularly good. So again, show interface serial X, show frame PVC, and show frame LMI are really good commands. I also showed you show frame map. Let's take a look at show frame PVC and I'll show you why this is one of my favorite commands. Because this is going to give you some information about the DLCs. You can see that two have been deleted. But here's what I really like to look at. This tells you not only when the permanent virtual circuit itself was created, but it also tells you the last time the status changed. So if someone told you, let's say that this just said, you know, 99, 99, 99, and somebody said, well, you know, it's been like that for hours, and you come in and you run this command and you say, well, no, actually, whatever brought it down happened 11 minutes and 52 seconds ago. So maybe somebody was playing with a router they shouldn't have been playing with. Let me show you a really good debug for this too. Debug frame LMI. And as always, never practice debugs on a production router. You shouldn't practice it at all because that might have been what happened here. And you can see there's a timestamp. And again, you don't need to know what every single value in here means yet because sooner or later you're going to look at a debug that you're not familiar with the output. I don't care if you're an NA or an IE. But notice here, you don't have to be an IE to notice that we've got messages going out but we don't have them coming in. And with LMI, we've got to have that exchange. So something's going on. And did you spot earlier what it was? Show frame LMI reveals here at the end that the LMI type is ANSI. So why wasn't it showing as ANSI in the config earlier? Well, that could have been the startup config. And then somebody changed it after that and hadn't saved it yet. So don't depend on looking at the config. Use these show commands. And I'm going to now go in. Let's try interface serial zero instead. I'm going to give you the full command here. It's show frame, excuse me, frame relay LMI type. And then the three that you better know by heart for the NA especially, Cisco, ANSI, and Q933A. Let's set it back to the default of Cisco and notice then I am not going to reset the interface in any way. I am not going to close it. I'm just going to let it go. Because now what I believe we'll see is that the messages received will begin to increment. See how it incremented from the earlier? And the timeout should stop. And let's see if that comes back up by itself. We'll give it a few more seconds. Because those LMI messages, there's our message, line protocol, change state to up. Now, let's not celebrate yet. And I always say that with the line protocol, because when you see it come up, always wait about 30 seconds and make sure it stays up. Because those LMI, those are going out and coming in hopefully every 10 seconds. That's the keep alive that you see mentioned here. That's our keep alive in frame relay. And when we miss three messages, the line protocol is going to go down. So notice now we see serial zero is up, line protocol is up, and that's what we want, and it looks like it's staying that way. But this is the key. You need to know that this refers to the physical state of the interface. This refers to the logical state of the interface. That tells you exactly what to look for in troubleshooting. And there are a lot of people out there that don't know that, actually, but you definitely do. So again, that's just one thing to look for with frame relay troubleshooting. And again, it's getting that right information, knowing the show commands to run, and don't be afraid to run a debug. And actually, as a bonus, let me bring that back up really quick and run show uh, debug frame LMI when it's working. Because you need to run debugs in a home lab or, rent, or rack rental when things are working and when they're not working, so you know the difference. Here's out, that's fine, but notice we do have messages coming in now. So now it looks like we're set. I'll run show interface serial one more time before... We leave for lunch or wherever we're going next, and you can see right there, serial zero is up, line protocol is up, and always, 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 when you're leaving a client site, run you all, that's short for undebug all, and make sure that you've turned all the debugs off. Be kind to your client, and he will be kind to you. Thanks for watching this video boot camp, and again, I'll have several more troubleshooting frame relay videos on the way. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE12933.